All right, guys, I just want to give you updates on the system, which I incorporated the uh, a Nissan Leaf 7 kilowatt, two strings of 3.5 kilowatt series parallel. Guys, this is the system. So now we're going to be running the Nissan Leaf and try them and see how they are. They are just seen at uh, 14S which I have plans to run them on a 16S so I can able to incorporate them with those right there which is the Ford Focus which is a 16S um, lithium that's a 8 kilowatt and a 8 kilowatt on the Nissan 7 kilowatt sorry on the Nissan Leaf and the e-golf is a 8.544 kilowatt so so I'm gonna be testing the 7 kilowatt of the Nissan Leaf and I have to add two more batteries of an Intel Nissan Leaf sorry to make it to 16 S so I can able to parallel them with the e-golf sorry with the uh, Ford Focus the e-golf is here running a 24 volt system it's gonna it's running simultaneously with a 48 volt which is running with the outback power system right here and um they're gonna be running uh the the house simultaneously so if you want to see all this pack in action and um maybe someday i'll come up with a plan trying to see what i can do um maybe you can i can match the 14.4 4, 14.44 um batteries which is a 12 volt 14.44 but it can charge up to about 15 15.8 so sorry i think 16.8 which i can able to probably match all of them together but i still have to do the math crunch the numbers here I'm not in a hurry. I want the 24 volt to still be in, in service. I don't want to take it off line. I want it to be running and I want the 48 volt to run. But I'm going to be running the Nissan Leaf and the Ford Focus respectively. So this is the plan and this is what I want to do. And stay tuned for more to come live from this channel. JW Solo USA live from Minnesota. And this is how... Um, setting up my batteries for a longer run time and more storage live here at the channel bye for now subscribe and share